I can't see my dad because the prison's too far away. We can't afford to go. When I'm at school, I think about it and I find it difficult to concentrate. It feels like you have a secret and you don't want anyone to know. These are the words and pictures of children whose parents are in prison. Children who often feel invisible. Not being able to be around him and growing up with my dad. So. Jasmine's father has been in jail for the last two and a half years. He was convicted of causing death by dangerous driving when she was nine. I sort of feel quite sad because I don't really have a dad to grow up with. Has that been hard? Yeah. Before, I was really, really close to my dad and I felt like he betrayed me, so now it's a lot harder. Luke's dad was in prison for just over two years. He's asked us to hide his identity. It's hard trying like, to lie about like, to all your friends about what happened and if they don't know. And I told one of my friends, but eventually um, in primary school it got around, which wasn't nice. It's estimated around 300,000 children in the UK have a parent in prison. 48% have never told anyone outside the family home that their parent is in jail. And these children are 25% more likely to experience mental health difficulties. Experts say children with a parent in prison aren't officially recorded, which means it's almost impossible for them to get help. I can't believe that we're in 2020 and children with a parent in prison are not identified, that nobody knows, um, that children are left behind. A parent can actually go off to court not expecting um, to receive a custodial sentence and actually the child can be left behind. Jasmine has only told a few trusted friends that her dad's in jail. Some days I have bad days. Other days I can feel quite open and talk about it. Do you think other children understand what you're going through? No. Like they might know, like, oh yeah, it'll be fine, but it's never going to be fine. It's always going to be a part of me, so. Having a parent in prison can leave children isolated, but they have done nothing wrong and say they don't want to be judged. Leila Hayes, 5 News.